everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my dolls. We have a new group um, going on Facebook and I will put the link down below which is all about dolls and I'm hoping to get lots of different ideas from everybody so we can put on there and make it about all dolls if we can. So today I just wanted to talk to you about my dolls and what I've got and what sizes they are. So first of all, this is Carol. Carol was my mum's doll, which my um, granddad brought back from her from the war. Um, and she is the same size as a six to nine month child. The clothes I buy for her are six to nine months. So she's exactly the same size as a six to nine month old child. So this is um, I think her name is Chelsea, but um, our, my granddaughter calls her Alice. Um, that's one of her favourite names, I'm not sure why, but she's called Alice. Um, and she is a Forever Friends doll, and she's 18 inches. And obviously in this group now would be an American Girl doll if I had one. So if anyone's got a spare one they want to send me, they're more than welcome. Next, we have Franco, and he is an Our Generation doll and he is also 18 inches um, so when we're making clothes for these dolls um, they would all fit in there and there are a few others which fit into that group and all the clothes are the same although when you look at their bodies which we'll look at in a minute um, you'll see that they actually have different shapes um, onto their body size and feet size so next I think this is a baby beyond but I'm not sure but this is almost the baby beyond size I think it might be one of Seth creations or something like that I don't know if the Seth creation is baby beyond uh, but this is a little girl doll and she is uh, 17 inches tall but she is more of a baby so she's got a different body and then we've got Sander which actually name is baby Alexander which is baby Bjorn's baby brother and he again is a 17 inch baby doll and then we come on over so next we have tiny tears and this is my tiny tears she's not standing up too well and i just realized i've dropped her shoe off but um, she's more of a baby doll and she does actually sit and lay more and this was my original tiny tears from nearly 60 years ago so <laughs> yeah so that's my tiny tears um, and she is called Tiny Tears, that's what I call her, I called her as a child um, and that's what her name's always been, so yeah. And then we have Bluebell, which is a um, glitter girl doll and she is um, 14 inches, although it doesn't look like it at the moment, she's got her slippers on. Um, uh, but she is almost the same size as um, our Disney princess doll. Um, when I measured her just now they sort of both came in at around 14 inches um, but as you can see there's lots of difference in their body shapes um, and that um, and you can get some of the Disney princess dolls do have different sizes. So this is Elsa, um, she is, I've got several of more of these and some of them um, the Anna one we got is slightly smaller so obviously you need to look at your doll and measure them and work out what they are and then we'll move along a little bit further so next we have Barbie and Barbie is a 12 inch doll um, but you can see even though she's just a bit smaller the difference in the body size is huge um, and then we have her little sister and I think I wanted to say she was called Skipper or Skippy I'm not quite sure but um, she is an 8 inch doll but I do believe there is another one which goes in the middle and then I think I'm not sure if this one's Chelsea or the little I'm not quite sure but this one here she is a 6 inch and the little boy which is Tommy is a 4 inch and the baby is a 3 inch so you've got all those different sizes in dolls and then when we come to the end we have my doll from when I was a child which is Corey um, and Corey is about she's the same sort of size as the baby which is 12 months so she's about the same sort of height as a 12 month old doll um, so you've got all those different sizes but when I put on the dress onto her uh, this is a 9 to 12 dress but as you can see I've actually had to take it in on the back and I've put a pin in it and I'm going to take it to the machine and sew that up but she does fit into a 
three to six month old shoe whereas Carol's shoes are 12 to 18 months so it all depends on the different sizes of your different dolls so I've got all the dolls lined up and I'm going to take you and show you what they look like in the kitchen so obviously Carol and Corey are far too big to actually be into this kitchen and into this room as a whole so this is the actual size of the room if I just pan out you can see the size of the room there and Carol and Corey are obviously far too big I'm just going to move this back a second sorry if it does wobble a little bit I just want to show you the sort of size and the proportion so these dolls fit into the kitchen really easily um, and it's sort of made for their size so that is the 18 inch dolls and the 14 inch welly, welly wisher or glitter girl doll so that would all fit into there and the American girl doll as well so as you can see the uh, Baby Bjorn dolls and Tiny Tears and any sort of doll which is that 17 inch type size doll fit really well into the kitchen as well. That's just about the right size for them to be in that room so that works really well for them. So as you can see um, it's a little bit small for or, or the dolls are a little bit small um, the Disney Princess and Barbie look a bit, a bit ridiculous because they are too small really to pick anything up out of the kitchen if they wanted to do some cooking and that sort of thing they wouldn't be able to reach it so I found that they did better with the Barbie or Cindy kitchen which I've got here okay I'm just going to sh show you with that so as you can see that one will go in there like that and even though it's a bit small it's not too bad for the size of the Disney princesses so you could sort of work with that and when I put her up against the sink even though her hand is a little bit big for the sink she can still um, sort of do the things in this type style kitchen and use that sort of side food if she was having things like the little burger and that though you'd have to make those on a larger scale for her but that works quite well that sort of size and then when you get to the very small dolls um, obviously you if they were playing Barbie and it was and Barbie was mum the, or a big sister these other ones would have to be her children because obviously none of that um, kitchen there would fit them but if you were playing like that with those type of dolls or displaying those type of dolls like that and they were her children you wouldn't expect them to be doing cooking and that sort of thing hopefully <laughs> um, maybe uh, doing that sort of thing so you would want if you wanted to do that you would want to make the appliances smaller like if you'd made it this sort of height that would be all right for this size doll um, and then I think they do do little kitchens in that for the tiny smaller ones so you could do something like that I just wanted to show you the difference in size between the do two dolls uh, there is an inch the um, Disney princess is coming in an inch smaller than the gl uh, glitter girl and I'm just going to show you this difference in the sizes of the bodies as well so when as you can see she's got a much bigger head so no hat which fitted onto this doll would fit this doll but I'm just going to show you what the difference in the sizes are so you can see the difference so her waist is um, five and three quarters and her waist is um, six inches so her waist is a quarter of an inch larger than the other one um, so if you put this dress on her it doesn't do off on the back but when I put Bluebell's dress onto um, Elsa, let's show you. There we go. It fits fine. It's just a little bit, tiny bit loose, but obviously you can tighten it with the ribbon if you wanted to. So it's just a tiny, tiny bit loose there like that but that's a good fit so any of the welly wishers or glitter girls clothes will fit onto this size Disney princess but you do need to measure your dolls before you do it because as I say all the different ones are different with the Disney princesses I am um, Anna which I've got upstairs is slightly smaller than Elsa 
So here we have our Forever Friends doll and here we have an Our Generation doll. I'm sorry, I don't have an American Girl doll. Um, I would like to show that, but I don't have it at the moment. Um, uh, this doll here, Alice, can you see how she's sort of tapered in more at the waist? So she's got more of a waist sort of section there and the top of her legs a little bit more, they come out a little bit more than Franco's does. You know, what I found with the um, Our Generation dolls is everyone is stuffed differently. As you can see, he's really quite firm stuffing, whereas the Forever Friends dolls are much looser stuffing. Okay, so the Forever Friends dolls don't always stand up that well. Um, they've got a wider girth between there, so when you do when with their pants and that, you need to make sure you've got a little bit wider here, and they're not as good at standing. They pretty much need to have something to lean against to get them to stand up nicely. Whereas with Franco, they should usually just they will usually just stand up. My mat is a bit wonky. The table is really wonky, so he's not standing up. I'm just leaning him against there, but um, he will. They usually stand up really well on their own. Um, so there is a difference there. Um, as you can see, there is still quite a wide girth on, on them, so it's not a hugely difference. But when you look at the back, but when you look at the back of the Our Generation doll, there's quite a big bottom there. Um, and you actually have to make sure when you're making things to come up that you need to have that fabric coming up so that you've got a nice bit. Otherwise, this does tend to slide down. I don't know if you can see where their, their bottoms are made slightly different. So they do have a bottom which comes out. The other thing is obviously with the width of their um, stomachs. Now, all the dolls which I've measured upstairs, they've all got different um, uh, waists. So you have to look at your dolls and work out what sizes. So if your doll is a very, has been a bit stuffed really thickly, she's going to be a little bit plumper. Whereas the Forever Friends dolls do tend to have very narrow waists. So if you were making a dress or something like that for them and you wanted it more fitted, you'd actually have to look at it how you wanted to do it. The other thing that we have with these is um, the Our Generations Girls doll eyes closed whereas these are always open all the time which they're quite pretty so i don't mind that too much also the same these are always open on bluebell as well so that's that so um the other thing is their feet size is different if you were actually going to be making from this type of doll can you see the difference they've got much longer thinner feet for the forever friends whereas the um our generation dolls feet are quite wide okay so when you're thinking of making shoes and that sort of thing you've just got to think about making um, the size which is going to fit onto your dolls the uh, glitter girls feet are quite narrow it's much smaller whereas the Disney girls feet sorry the Disney and whereas the Disney girls feet here um, it is, this is uh, uh, Elsa you can see they're much wider than uh, but shorter okay so if you're making shoes with her you just have to measure each individual doll's shoe okay right so I hope this has helped um, I just wanted to show you talk to you about sizes and that sort of thing and what would work so this type of kitchen is going to work for a lot of dolls okay for the bigger size and then you can go for a smaller type of kitchen if you're just doing for those sort of from 13 inch dolls downwards you need to have that sort of smaller size so when it comes to the baby dolls as you can see they are even though they're that just that one inch shorter there they are very very different in their body shapes and sizes obviously the legs are much bigger and so are the feet in um, their sort of girth same with the arms and the hands are much larger so if you'd put something on which fitted one of these dolls the hands wouldn't fit through the arm hoe um, the head's a different shape as well you've got a much bigger this is more of a baby baby shape and obviously the body is going to be much bigger so you need a different type of pattern for this type of doll than you would for this type of doll so you're looking at all different patterns for different ones but 
um, definitely you can use for all of these type of dolls all these 18 inch dolls that would all work and the same with the um, Disney princesses and the welly wishers and the glitter girls those sort of patterns work for those dolls okay the only thing that isn't interchangeable with these dolls really are the shoes because they are so tiny and compared to the our generation shoe okay although you these shoes will fit on this doll there but they're a bit loose but they're all right you know they're not terrible okay so they do fit on her and she could wear those sort of thing you know they're a bit sloppy but yeah okay so i hope that's helped all right okay i hope you enjoyed this video goodbye